Thank you for using Rasmussen College Library System Library Services. This is a brief training tutorial about utilizing Microsoft Word to create a research paper in APA style. To open Microsoft Office Word, select Start, All Programs, Microsoft Office, and then Microsoft Office Word 2003. Close the Getting Started window to maximize your editing screen. Next, you will need to change the margins of your paper. To do so, select File, then Page Setup. The top and bottom margins are accurate, but you will need to change the left and right margins. To do so, click your mouse in the box and change 1.25 to 1. Then. Move your mouse to the right box and change it to one. Now hit OK. In APA style, all pages of a research paper are double spaced. To change your spacing, click on the Format menu, then Paragraph, then change your line spacing from Single to double and hit OK. In APA style, the header of a paper includes an abbreviated title as well as the page number. To insert a header, click on View, then Header and Footer. Align your header to the right side of your paper by clicking on the Align Right button in your formatting toolbar. Then, insert the brief title of your paper, followed by five spaces, and then click on the Insert Page Number button in the Header and Footer toolbar. This will automatically insert the correct page number on each page of your paper. When you are finished, click Close. The title page of a paper should be centered. To center the title page, click on the Align in the center button on your formatting toolbar. Then click enter 8 to 10 times so that the beginning information of your title page is approximately in the center of your first page. The beginning information of your title page should include the full title of your paper, your name, and the name of the college. Then enter a few more lines so that you can enter some final title page information near the bottom of the page. This includes the name of your course, your instructor's name, and the date that you wrote the paper. You'll want to check to make sure that the bottom title information is close to the bottom. If it's not, Simply click before that bottom title information and hit enter a few more times. When you are satisfied, place your cursor at the end of your last word and then insert a page break to move on to the next page. To do so, click on insert, then break, and then hit OK. The body of your paper should begin by restating your entire title. This should be centered at the top of your second page. Hit enter and then you will begin the body of your paper. To do so, you will want to align this information on the left side. Click on the Align Left button in your formatting toolbar. Then you will want to indent the first line of your first paragraph. You will also want to indent the first line of each additional paragraph. To do so, you can select the first line indenting arrow in your ruler. You'll just want to move the top arrow that's pointing down to the half inch mark on your page. This will automatically indent the first line of each paragraph. Next, you'll begin the body of your paper. You'll want to make sure that you save your paper frequently 
so that you do not lose your content if Word closes accidentally. When you are finished writing the body of your paper, you will want to insert a second page break to move on to your references page. To do so, click on insert, then break, and then page break. The title of your references page, or reference if you are only using one source, should be centered. Click on the center button in your formatting toolbar to center the word. Then hit enter. Next, you will need to align all of your sources to the left side. To do so, click on the Align Left button in your formatting toolbar. Unlike paragraphs, sources are not indented on the first line. Instead, they are what is called a hanging indent. The second line and all following lines are indented underneath the first line of each source. To create a hanging indent, you will need to move your first line indent back to the zero mark. Next, select the hanging indent, which is the arrow on your ruler bar that is pointing upward, and move it to the half inch mark. Now you can begin typing in your sources. Remember that sources are not numbered on a reference page. Instead, they are placed in alphabetical order. Please refer to your Wadsworth handbook or the library resource information about APA formatting. To save your work, click on File and then Save. Select the area where you wish to save your paper. Remember that if you save it to your desktop and you are working at the school, you may not be able to access your paper the next time that you log in. It is best to save your paper on the H drive when working at school. If you are working at home, it is best to save your paper on a removable drive such as a disk or a USB drive so that you can take your paper to school to print it out or otherwise access and edit it. Select the file name for your paper and then click Save. Now you can close the paper. To do so, click on File and then Close. Word offers a spelling and grammar editing tool. To access it, simply click F7 on your keyboard or select Spelling and Grammar from the Tools menu. Word will review your paper and bring up potential errors. If it sees an error of spelling, it will bring it up in red. You can either change the error using a correction shown or change it yourself to a different word or ignore the error. Once you have made your changes, you may see readability statistics. Simply select OK and then save your paper. Please note that spelling and grammar 
are often missed by this spelling and grammar check. You are encouraged to seek a second opinion regarding your paper, including a tutor, smart thinking, or a librarian.